Former lightweight world champion, former super lightweight world champion. Good luck. WBC welterweight championship of the world. Hope is for over to clip him. I mean by that is that something huge. But uh, I think Ovacar is on a different level. He says he's on a mission from God. Got a prophecy to fulfill. Ova means king in Swahili. Nice little jab, backs up Carr, and Oba. Down goes Carr. A quick left, number four. Oscar faithful to his word. He said, enough for that boxing stuff. I'm going to go out for the knockout immediately. And he's headhunting tonight, Mario. Oscar Alloya definitely showing a different side of him, a side we have not seen from his amateurs. A big left by De La Hoya. Lands right on Overcar. There's a lot of power behind it by Oscar De La Hoya, and he just kind of like puts the other hand and forces. There's a huge win to win. A knockout doesn't guarantee you more money. He's still going to get the same paycheck once the final bell. And Oscar showing no respect. Just Taking the De La Hoya even after the amount of he's looking to do the same tonight against Overcar, except in a shorter amount of time. He wasn't happy with his performance. Actually, he hasn't been happy with his boxing for the past uh, three years after the Porte fight, which a lot of us thought was exciting. He said he didn't want to have a read. He's going to feel that left. Uh, 15 seconds left in the second round of his championship fight. to a point when you have two people in the corner giving you on the bottom of this world. Thus far, third round, and out to De La Hoya, and Overcar going right out in the center of the ring. De La Hoya feels he's got Carr in trouble here. He's really going head hunting here in the third round. Carr just cannot match De La Hoya in terms of strength. Wrong strategy on Overcar's part. He cannot slug it out. Cannot go to by Austin is Kent. <laughs> Big right there by Overcar. Lands flush on Austin's left side of his face. But Austin comes right back with a big left. Ties up Carr. The new Oscar. He likes to come forward. He puts on the pressure. And he's a target. He's standing right in front of Oscar. Could have asked for a better opponent. Quality counter punches there by Overcar. The low blows by Overcar. And Over. Beaten off of the punch there. Carr De La Hoya. De La Hoya dominate the first two rounds, but in the third, perhaps we have seen the awakening on the day by Oscar De La Hoya. Just look at this here. A couple of nice jabs there. Brings it in Oscar. He follows it home with a nice right and left. And watch him just continue to stand on top of him. Not allowing Father Oscar. Las Vegas. De La Hoya and Carr. A couple of interesting facts about uh, about the corners. In uh, Overcar's corner, we have uh, Abel Sanchez, who trained Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Two big lefts by Overcar, Mario. Excuse me, by Oscar De La Hoya. Backed up Overcar there for a second. I want you to bring up that point again about Overcar's corner. But he's been what to do against Oscar De La Hoya? He lost, obviously, that fight by decision, but it was a tough fight. 26. He's lost. Same can be said for De La Hoya. He recently brought his second child into the world. Of course, fiance did that. And now he plans to get married here very shortly. And that perhaps he put him in his most relaxed state. Oh, and a big coming from the left nostril of Omar And you can see that Carr goes down low and then tries to come back up high on De La Hoya. He always tries to take a quick punch below the belt. Watch doing much of that uh, boxing that we've seen. Swing. Now he's setting himself up for a big punch by Oscar from up top. Big left by De La Hoya, back car. Less than 10 seconds to go in the round. And Oscar. Watch Oscar De La Hoya here, Mario. Go to the body, come back up high, and then they'll just follow it up with a flurry. But that's, you see, there's that 
let's see uh, Carr's response there. Which is showing plenty of hard here. But that's the left right there. Right before the end of the round, win that one of the judges' hearts, I'm sure. Very convincing punch at the end. from within. Plenty of difficulties. And also... Galahoya. Another jab there by Oscar. He's abandoned that jab and... ...to do the talking. And the last thing... Cars 
Give credit to Carr, he's getting the best from Delahoy and he's giving it right back. I mean, he'd be a pretty, he'd be a pretty decent fight for him. <laughs> Continue hearing boos from the uh, from the audience out of here at the uh, Mandalay Bay. Another uh, perhaps interesting ask, we don't see as many women here tonight. Oscar backing up over Carr now with two big hooks inside. Those uppercuts getting the job done. And over car now, swinging and missing. While Oscar swinging, connecting. Round number 10. And the flashes of brilliance Mario present themselves. Yeah, I don't know, uh, the tenth round. I think that was that was about it for Oscar. Although he uh, received some virgin words from his opponent. Championship of the world. It was entertaining from the first bell, but in the middle round, it kind of like slow down. Oh, and down goes over far. A delayed. It's over. Just waiting. He didn't want to attack too much. He waited for the right moment. And just said goodbye to the equilibrium right there. You see? Beautiful. Of Obacar. And down he goes. Come 